Hello everyone, or good day mates, as we say in Australia. I hope you all have a great time at the reunion and I'd like to thank Alan Morrison for instigating the occasion and to everyone else who helped to bring it to fruition. I'm sorry that I can't be with you, but look forward to hearing all about your time together and hope that some of you will be able to get in touch with me either by Skype or by email. After leaving Watson's and spending a year at Hamilton College, I studied at the Dick Vet School, interned at Cornell University, and worked for three years in Fife. This was before I completed a PhD at the University of Glasgow. I was then headhunted for a job in Australia in 1988 and have been here ever since. Firstly, I lived near Adelaide where we designed and built our own house. It was there that I opened a couple of vet clinics, including the Holistic Veterinary Clinic. This was one of the first of its kind and functioned as a referral clinic for clients who wanted an alternative or natural treatment for their animals. My marriage ended in 2008 after 24 years, so I sold the Holistic Vet Clinic and moved to Lismore in New South Wales after meeting my partner Athena. I now provide Skype and telephone consultations worldwide for people who do not have a local holistic veterinarian, as well as working in various clinics throughout Australia. In addition to Athena, the other main people in my life are my daughter and son, who are both now young adults making their own way in life, and my parents who still live in Fife. I thank my parents for making it possible for me to attend George Watson's College, firstly as a train boy. This involved a one-hour train ride every morning and afternoon, as well as a half-hour trek from Haymarket to the school or a three-quarter hour walk from the school to Waverley train station. Fortunately, I became a boarder in Jimmy Cowan's Bug Hut, midway through fourth year. This allowed more time for me to participate in after-school activities and the enforced two-hour study period every evening undoubtedly helped me get into vet school. You can see from the photo that the assistant boarding house master was Roy Mack, who is still a staunch pillar of the school staff. There are too many staff members that I would like to mention now and thank for helping and guiding me through school. However, I know that the standard of teaching is hugely dependent on the quality of top management. Consequently, I would like to thank the school principal, Sir Roger Young, who, among other things, was responsible for the introduction of third-year projects. I understand that Malcolm Hunter and Donald Scott have accepted an invitation to the reunion dinner as representatives of those who taught us at George Watson's. Thanks to you personally, as well as to all other members of the teaching staff for the major input you had in our young lives. There is no other profession which has such an important impact on our personal development as that of the teaching profession. I send my best wishes to everyone at the reunion and also to those who could not attend. Hail to the old school that claims our allegiance. Gladly we yield it, wholehearted and strong. Here we acclaim her with loyal devotion, queen of our hearts and theme of our song. Or, as we say here in Australia, good on you, mate. <laughs>